Hello again, everybody. Pat Foley and Dale Talon from Chicago Stadium. The Minnesota North Star is in town tonight. Both these teams struggling. Only 10 wins out of 33 games played between the two of them. But still, I think emotions get a little raised when they meet. Well, it doesn't really matter where these two teams are in the standings or what they've been doing in the past. Whenever they get together, it's an exciting game. Uh, they hate each other. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's one of the best rivalries in the game today. And, and it's always an entertaining game. And it always goes down to the wire. Roley the goalie, Roley Melanson. His fifth game of the year. He's 2-1-1. One, and one. 4.65 goals against average. They paid dearly for him from the Islanders. They gave up their first pick. Murray Bannerman, the familiar sight in the hawk net. In his 14th appearance, he's 4-7-1, 4.88 goals against average. But referee gripes it right there. Savard with a pass across through the middle of the box to the oncoming Bob Murray. He shot it on the fly. The puck almost trickled in, but it... Well, it has to be all the way over to be a goal. From our angle, you can't quite see if it's all the way over as Melanson got the glove to cover it. What a great shot from that end camera right in behind the net. Taken away by Frazier in front for Brown. His shot deflected wide. Now Olchek rolled it in front. Out to the line it goes. Ben Wilson. Wilson to the near corner. Frazier. Now Olchek center to the right side. from the left point got it into Kurt Fraser Kurt Fraser moves to the left corner gets it to Olchek Olchek to the right of Melanson moves out passes it right across the front of the mouth goal mouth Troy Murray right there puts it into the empty net Troy Murray's 10th of the year and he'll it won't come any easier and a perfect feed from Ed Olchek as he moved from the right side of the net and made a perfect pass across and Troy Murray all his do was advance it into the empty net. After Kenya Emchuk intercepted an Aaron Kurt Giles pass, he gave it to Troy Murray. Troy Murray waited, tried to set up your Emchuk. If your Emchuk could handle the pass, he would have had that second goal of the period, an empty net one. Here's the draw, the North Star zone to Bergev and a shot! He goes! Took Mark Bergman a year and a month to get his first NHL goal. He gets the second of the season and second of his career. A bouncing puck came back off the draw. He just fired it at the net. It was high and it was wobbling. Melanson going down. He's got a piece of it with his glove and it just trickled over his head and into the net. Now Giles ahead to Broughton, racing over the line. Broughton cuts for the net. Doug Wilson, oh, and then he pulled him down. And it'll be a penalty against the Hawk Wilson. Now Broughton pushing with O'Callaghan in the corner, and everybody gathers there. Well, what a rotten call that is. Doug Wilson taking the body on Broughton, and Broughton, who's prone to taking dives, took a dive. Gregson way out of the play he was at the checkered red line when the play was in the corner and he calls the penalty. Let's Broughton go to the ice. Now back of the hawk goal, Cicerelli jams it loose. Cicerelli put it into the corner. Broughton, Broughton trying to walk in front. Turns back into the corner. Neil Broughton stick handling nicely. Now center. He scores! Broughton, a wrist shot. He was just trying to dump it into the slot. And it went into the goal. Bannerman never moved. Apparently was screened. And it's 2-1 to one in favor of the Hawks. Well, you can read the label on the puck all the way from up here. Hawks having some difficulty. Broughton just fading away. Just dumped it casually to the front of the net. Bannerman didn't see it. It just went through his legs. The puck didn't even hit the back of the net. There was hardly anything on it. Short side. And Bob Murray stepped into him. Now the North Stars will try the far side, and Cicerelli has a little room. Clearing it out to Broughton, he's in. Neil Broughton, a breakaway, right in, shooting. He scores! What a feed from Dino Cicerelli to put Neil Broughton in alone. And the North Stars have tied it at two. A great play by Cicerelli, deep in his own zone. A quick, hard pass right through the middle, right under the stick. Of Broughton, he had just crossed the line. He was onside. Broughton comes in, fakes. 
and beats Bannerman to the stick side. He faked to his right, went back to his left. But Cicerelli with a perfect pass that sprung Broughton through the middle. Two goals in two straight shifts for Neil Broughton. And the North Stars have come back to tie the game at two. Cleared it not out. Doug Wilson held it in nicely, but his pass then stolen. And Cicerelli slides it to center right. Then stolen there by McCarthy over the line. Fires and a save by Bannerman. Rebound loose and drop. Hits a crossbar. Rebound again and a save by Bannerman. And then Doug Wilson dove and covered it up. Boy, the North Stars with two narrow misses consecutively. Firstly, Doug Wilson cost it up in the neutral zone. He tried a dangerous pass across to O'Callaghan. The Hawks again come back. Doug Wilson overskates it. The puck hits the crossbar and the rebound. A great save by Bannerman. Finally, Wilson wasn't successful with his stick, so he elected to dive and cover it up. For again to the seats, and I'm sure he's breathing a sigh of relief after he'd lost a glove. A dangerous situation especially for a defenseman with only one glove and the shots coming from the point. Minute and a half for the North Star power play. Now the draw to Hartsburg at the line. Here's a long shot. Tip they score. Neil Broughton, his hat trick. He scored three goals in a row here in the third period. In the second period, rather. And the North Stars have taken the lead, three to two. It was Broughton who won the draw cleanly, too, and he went straight to the front of the net. Troy Murray lost the draw. He went to the point. Hartsburg let the shot go, and Broughton deflects it past Bannerman for the an authentic hat trick. Three successive goals in the second period. His ninth, tenth, and eleventh goals. And the puck trickles through the legs of Murray Bannerman. Flip it ahead. Stewart stole that, carries it over the Hawk line, set it for act of the shot, and it's a dribbling in! Batterman, the blocker, saved! It dribbled over his right arm into the net. Four to two in favor of the North Star. He backed in, took the puck away in the neutral zone as Gardner was unable to knock him off the puck. He walked into the deep slot, let the shot go, Bannerman got a piece of it, lost sight of it, turned around, but it was too late. Hit the knob of a stick. Bannerman doesn't locate it until it's into the net. So Keith Acton gives the North Stars a two-goal lead as Minnesota has scored twice in 42 seconds here. And lead it four to two. Jerome Dupont ahead to Savard at center to Secord over the line. Fire! He scores! Secord! A bullet from the top of the near circle. And the Hawks are back to within one. Uh, Jerome Dupont with a nice outlet pass up the left wing board. Savard with a nifty job to stop as the defenseman ran at him. He passed it into the middle of the ice to Secord. He broke in on the left wing and a wicked slap shot. The launcher comes down, he's moving, he's not set. And Secord is able to beat him with a slap shot. Shoveled it into the corner. The crowd alive here in the stadium, nearly 18,000 on hand. Here's Levy, knocked down on the board. Now came three to Bill Watson. On for a rare ship, now Acton and Bergevin are eyeballing each other. Neither one will drop the stick. Here's Graham coming in on Bergevin, and now they all pile up along the board. Dirk Graham coming to the aid of Keith Acton, who had no intention of dropping his stick. He didn't want Bergevin to get anywhere near him. And then Graham came and bumped Bergevin from behind. Now everybody just wrestling and the officials in there to try to separate them all. Bergevin pawing away. Now let's see what referee.
referee Gregson has decided. Must be this end. It must be the magnetic end. There have been eight goals scored, all of them on the net to our left. Stars move away. Here's Axon over the line. Left it for Hartsburg. He's bumped and is stolen by Savar. Savar didn't have any help. He just rolled it into the North Star end. And back comes Chris Pryor from Minnesota. He bounced one ahead. Here's a, a shot. They score! McKegney! A bouncing puck wound up right on his stick. He got the handle and fired it in just past the near post. And Minnesota now leads 5-4. A bad break there, the bouncing puck. DuPont can't play it. He, he deflects it ahead right to McKegney. McKegney lets the shot go right through Bannerman's legs. A bad break there for the Hawks as the bouncing puck went right to McKegney. Both DuPont and Ben Wilson are unable to get to it. McKegney puts it through the legs of Bannerman after the Hawks had good control in this third period. They get a bad break. Here's the draw. And the Hawks, Doug Wilson, shoots it in deep. There goes Bannerman to the bench. Six attackers on for Chicago. Now Bannerman forced to stay out. Here comes Acton, two on one with Graham. He moves in, centered it, an open net, and Acton just missed tipping it in. Now back to the goal, Doug Wilson. Half a minute left to go. Wilson a long lead for Savard. He tried to draw a penalty in center, but couldn't do it. Now Bob Murray moving over the line, shoots one, blocked at the defense to Doug Wilson. He rolled it in front, stolen by the North Stars. The hot goal is empty. Minnesota can't get it out. Here's Larmer on the near side. Bumped along the board. Puck squirts free to Bill Stewart. He cleared it, but now out. Troy Murray set it. It's a score! Five seconds left! Couldn't have written a better script. Bill Stewart, feel sorry for him. He played a strong game for the North Stars. Call up for the Miners. Had control, doesn't get it out of the zone. Troy Murray keeps it in, takes a look across the ice to Savard, and Savard makes no mistake with five seconds remaining to make it a 5-5 hockey game. Dennis Savard's 10th goal of the year at 9. time in the stadium tonight. On the far side is Olchek with room at center. He gains the line. Olchek into the slot. Center to Kell And a save rebound. Another save by Melanson. Now Frazier trying to center. Giles blocked it. It's caught in his uniform. And Jack O'Callaghan can't believe that Melanson just stoned him. Olchek got the puck on the right wing boards. O'Callaghan came from nowhere from his defense position. Went right through the defense. Got the pass, went to his backhand, had Melanson down, was unable to put the backhand over him. Good save by Melanson, and then the rebound shot deflected just wide as it was going for the upper left-hand corner. Well, Callahan will be having a sleepless night tonight thinking about that. Stewart blocked it nicely. Now here comes Bukestad over the line. He rolled it to Graham, moving right in front, the shot and a save rebound, scramble! able to neutralize the North Star. Blackhawk Vice President Michael Wirtz anxiously watching the proceedings here. Put it to the near side and Flett played it to center. Here's Maru busting over the line to the far side. McKinney the shot. Batterman the save. And he keeps the game tied and holds on. Brings it around the board. Frazier cleared it to center. Now here's Troy Murray over the line. Lost it there. Three seconds left. Frazier doesn't have enough time, and the siren sounds here in the stadium. A wild and woolly, thrilling hockey game here tonight. As each team gains a point out of it, you might be able to say that each team deserved a point out of this game. Well, that second period killed the Hawks. They had two good periods. They played well for 40 minutes. But that second period killed them. Four unanswered goals by the North Stars, or otherwise the Hawks would have had a big win.